Now remember before I cut them apart I want to open out the strips. So I'm first going to actually clip that thread. It's just kind of wrinkling up the fabric there because I kind of stuck them close together there. So I'm going to open out my strip, two from strip one. And this is a tricky block. You really have to think on this block. And the reason is, here we've got number one, here we've got area number two. We want to make sure we've got enough fabric to cover area number two. Now here's where my seam ended right here. Now you might be inclined to just lift this up and cut in between there any place. But notice number two area here. This point extends way past where the seam is. So I have to make sure that I have enough fabric to cover all the way down to that point plus a quarter of an inch beyond it. So what I often do is just sort of let me start with the first one down here. I look at that point. So it's a good idea anytime you're doing any pattern, especially when it's a new one that you haven't done before, look at the area carefully before you cut it apart. Because if I find if people make mistakes, it's because they're just, they just whack it apart and they forget to check that. So here where I've, I've made them a little bit closer together, you can see that I have to be careful. I can cut closer to this one. I just don't want to cut too close to that point. I want to make sure I have enough fabric for that. So I'll cut those apart. Same thing here. I've left a little bit more space on this one, so I don't have to be quite so careful, but I just want to, again, think that I need to have plenty there for that point. Let me get this one over here. And we've got our strips just kind of hanging down here, but as long as that's open and we know we have enough for our point, we can cut those apart. Now I find because we had this other, you know, we had these butted up here on the strip, it was easy to cut against this piece down here to know where you're going. When I get to the very last one, people often just lift it up and cut it. And they forget to realize they have to allow for that point down here too. So it's helpful if you just look at the point, look at the quarter inch beyond, fold it somewhere out there, and then you know you're good to cut anywhere in there.